you ever watched the hit TV series, The Big Bang Theory, then at some point you probably heard the main character, Sheldon Cooper, come out with, change is hard for me. Well, to all the Sheldons in the world, I want to say, change is difficult for all of us. Change isn't something we want to do. Change isn't something we usually embrace easily. But change is part of the fabric of life. Change is connected to how we grow. Change is about how we get in touch with our deeper self to be better people. But you know, we like the way things are. We like our patterns. We like our habits. We don't want to change them. We don't want people to interfere with them. And even when we're not quite sure whether we really like ourselves, we don't really want to change. Change is difficult for most of us. Today I want to talk about change and about spirituality and change. As I do, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel as well as to click that bell so you're notified of future videos. In the 1800s in the United States, there were a number of groups, communities that formed around utopian values. They wanted to create communities that they believed were the best way to live. And they did that based on various kinds of principles. For instance, there were those who believed that having an economy based on shared work and people sharing uh, what they earned for the betterment of the community was a very important thing. And so we had the communities of harmonists that sprang up around the country. Other people were, were influenced by philosophical beliefs. For instance, transcendentalism and the belief that to really transcend life and to experience meaning and, and everything that transcend, transcendentalism was about meant living close to nature. And, and so they founded communities at fruit lands and at brook farms. But perhaps the one community that still has an enduring legacy for us is a community that was built on the idea of simplicity, of living simply and mindfully. And we know them today most through the craftsmanship they left. You know, many of us have furniture made in their designs. These were the shakers. And for about 200 years, the Shaker communities continued to endure. And they are built on the principle of simplicity. Simplicity was about mindfulness. It was about letting go of everything that prevented us from being the people we really were meant to be. And their term was simplicity. Now, I began reading the writings of, of Shaker uh, elders Oh, a couple decades ago. And, you know, many people, when they begin reading about the Shakers and reading their writings, the one thing that captures them is their unique belief. Now, while they considered themselves Christians, they didn't believe in a trinity. Instead, they believed that God was both mother and father, that there were two distinct persons. And it really reflected their agrarian lifestyle. They knew that if anything was born into the world, there must be a mother and father. And so if Jesus was born in the world, there must be a mother and father God. And so they talk equally about the mother God and the father God. And, and many people find that very interesting and attractive. But what drew me into the Shaker writings more was the way in which they embraced change and the way they saw change as a fundamental part of life. They saw it reflected around them in the changes of the seasons, in the way that the day goes, not just from sunrise to sunset, but all the nuances throughout the daily cycle and what was right to do in those different times of day. So they understood that life continued to change from birth through growth to death, and that that was the natural way. And they encaptured their sense of simplicity and this need for change in their writing as well as in their music. And that's conveyed to us in probably their most famous song, Simple Gifts. 
You may know the words, but let me remind you. Tis a gift to be simple. Tis a gift to be free. Tis a gift to come round where you ought to be. And when you find yourself in the place just right, it will be in the land of love and delight. When true simplicity is gained, to bow and to bend, you shall not be the same. To turn, to turn will be our delight, till by turning and turning you'll come round right. You see, they understood that simplicity, living in a mindful, grounded, deeply rooted way, meant that we needed to continue to turn and turn, to change and to change, and to allow life to change us, to bow and to bend. And in time, that will bring us to the point where we turn around right and are grounded and rooted in simplicity and love and delight. So in that song, they capture the essence of their spiritual life. How wonderful for us to have that clear articulation, because many of us wonder about, well, what does it mean to live mindfully? Perhaps it's difficult for us because we're so insulated from the natural cycle. We're aware that temperatures and seasons change, but the Shakers lived within the movements of those changes. And when we live more closely and embrace the cycles of change in life, we're able to embrace change for ourselves, and to understand that our growth, our wholeness, is related to our ability to change, to bow, to bend, to turn, and to find goodness in that, to find love and delight, to be rooted in that. Sheldon was right, it's hard to change. And if you need to talk about, if, if you want to talk about changing and what that means for your spiritual life, be sure to reach out for me. We can talk about spiritual direction and see where that leads you. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, share it with others, just leave me some comments, and know that I appreciate the time you spend with these videos on spirituality beyond borders. Thanks. Have a really great day.